weekend with me. I am just running a couple of errands today. Today's Saturday. Um, it's about 12 o'clock. I just got loaded, so it was the perfect time for me to leave the house. I actually am a little bit cold. Well, I'm realizing it's cold outside. But I went to gym in the morning. So the fact that I'd done that much physical activity and got so warm and then took a warm shower, I like incubated in that for like two hours. And now I'm realizing that outside is actually cold. So I probably should have worn something under this jersey, but I didn't. Ciao. Anyway, I am at House of Demo. I'm going to just have a look at some fridges and maybe any other appliances that I feel maybe I need to upgrade in my home. And yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. Twenty minutes later. Let me tell you something. House of Demo is not what it used to be. Like in 2019, I bought a fridge from here and it was just so cheap. It was like the same fridge you would get in the shop, you'd pay like 3k more. Then I also bought in the same year a washing machine from here and it was the same thing like the discount was like 3k buying it here versus buying it in the shop and then i bought a tv in 20 was it last year or the year before i bought a tv in 2021 and the discount versus what you would get in like a normal store was about 2.5 so i feel like all those things and they still work perfectly till this day all those things were like really worth actually coming to the demo store for and like i'm happy with those purchases and everything but now that i've been here today like it's just it's getting not so discounting anymore like i saw a monitor and it's an i think it's a samsung and in macro it's 3k but here is 2.5 like what's the point of buying it here you might as well spend the extra 500 rand and go to macro so i noticed that with a lot of the appliances that they have here that the pricing is just almost not worth coming here you might as well go get it brand new somewhere else but yeah it's a little bit sad though because the quality even though it's demo stock is really great but like they need to price it in a way that the discount makes sense like it must make sense to come here versus going to a regular store do you know what i'm saying so yeah anyway on to my next errand i want to go and pick up something that i ordered for my trip in june from take a lot pickup point <music> back from all the errands i had to run so after picking up my superfluous order from the take a lot pickup point i went to cotton on i wanted a few crop tops for my european summer trip so i wore this um brown crop top of a friend of mine's when we were in greece last year and it was really so comfortable and it fits so well and it made me feel good so i really wanted that exact crop top and she told me to head to cotton on and go to the cotton cotton on body section and that i would find it there so i didn't find the exact one but i did find a couple that were really really comfortable so i have this dark brown one um which fits really well and is really really comfortable i also got this sort of beige one which is a little bit of a different design um in the front and in the back and then i got this cream sort of off-white one which is a longer sort of fit there is this corset thing that i really wanted to get but the original price was 3.99 <laughs> i found out at the counter that it wasn't on sale so i couldn't get it i was a really bit sad though because i really liked the way that it looked sports bras and 
some of the undies are actually on sale right now at cotton on so if you want some crop tops for yourself go check that out and yeah i'm happy that i got some of the stuff that i really wanted for my trip in june also excuse the muffin top in some of these videos because girl i am working on my body but it is not working fast enough <laughs> But I know myself and honestly, I do not care about my body when I'm in other countries. I only care about my body when I'm here at home. I don't know why that is the case, but it is the case. After that, I went to get my hair relaxed. Oh, I just feel so good. So it has been six weeks since I last relaxed my hair, which is why I relaxed it today. Um, so yeah, those are all the things that I've done. I'm going to make myself some food now because I have not eaten since breakfast this morning, which was at like... 11 and i'm not going to show you guys my cooking because it's not something that i ever ever want to be able well not be able but it's not something i would ever brag about the skill that i have now because it's barely there and i eat to survive like i cook to live i don't cook because it's enjoyable and i want to be you know chef ramsey so i'm going to do that and then watch some tv and chill for the rest of the day so see you guys tomorrow good morning i am in a dark parking lot i'm in pretoria today i had to film here because load shedding ruined my life i haven't had power the entire morning so load shedding didn't well the electricity didn't come back at half past six when it was supposed to so there's an outage and all this other drama whatever i just had to get out of this so i'm in pretoria I'm currently at Minden, Maine. I just want to see if the Discovery Store is open so that I can do my health check. And then after that, I'll see what I'm gonna do. Twenty minutes later i am done with my vitality health check for discovery uh my vitality age is a year younger than my actual age so i'm on the right track the only thing that they said you know was a red flag was the amount of times i exercise in a week and that my stress levels are really high and they asked me if i really want to see someone for stress so there's that but it was a cool experience because i also got a goodie bag and i will open it a little bit later but the lady said that there's a beach bag in there and a water bottle and other goodies so i'm going to check that out later now i'm going to go to my parents house see them and spend a little bit of time with them i'm back at my place after spending some time at my parents house I actually ended up undoing my nails as well before well I went to their house and then I went to undo my nails and then I went back unfortunately my stepmom was not home she's traveling for work so didn't get to spend the mother's day with her but at least I got to spend some time with my brothers and my dad so now I'm back at my place and I just want to have some hot chocolate but before I do that I'm going to unbox my goodies from the Discovery Store. This is the bag that the goodies came in. It's a nice big drawstring canvas bag. And then, of course, unboxing with one hand is tricky as hell. Oh, this looks like a beach bag. 
this is a beach bag. I'm so excited because I'm going to Europe for the summer and this bag will definitely come in handy for carrying all my stuff around. Just want to see if there's anything inside the bag. Summer endless holiday activity book with discovery. I think it's just, oh, it's crossword puzzles and stuff. Drawing games, etc. That's pretty cool, especially for being on long haul flights, which I will be on when I go to Europe. I'm just going to turn this thing upside down. I tried to be gracious. It did not work. Cool. We have an aluminium Vitality Travel water bottle, which definitely comes in handy for travel because a lot of airports, especially in Europe, have um, water fountains. And it's really advised by a lot of the people who um, do YouTube videos on travel tips that you should take a water bottle with you because then you can just refill it at the water fountain. So that's really cool. This looks like a journal. Yes, it is. This is... Oh, a luggage tag. Love it. And then this needs two hands. It's a Vitality Travel. It's like a cloth type of thing, which I assume you take with you to the beach to lay down and then you sit on it. So this is also going to come really handy on my trip. So really excited. This is really pretty. I love the colors, the pink and the white. So that is all that is in my Discovery goodie bag that brings me to the end of my vlog for this weekend if you're looking forward to more content from me click the subscribe button down below i have loads more content coming especially pertaining to travel if you like this video give it a thumbs up down below and if you have any comments leave them down in the comments and i'll get to you as soon as i can for my day-to-day -day happenings you're welcome to follow me on instagram at samantha underscore kvm thank you for watching and see you in my next video i'm a year younger than my vitality age no my vitality age no